Taka. He'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? There's a tar blade out under his body. The killer used this to move Taka's body. That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Blue tarp. Wonderful. What's that? It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh? But wait. This wasn't- wasn't this in the equipment room when he found- when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? It's how they moved the body, buddy. Repository dolly. Ifumi's big cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office where he was discovered to here, the repository. All the way from the first floor to the first floor to the third floor, and all without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good, I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it! His glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. But now they're completely clean. What does that mean? Someone wipes his glasses off? Who would do that? And why? It is quite curious. Byakuya, do you think Hiro really did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone else could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died... Yeah, he said Hiro's name. So in other then words... Then there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kinda dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That's all that bothers you? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hm. They probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. If that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is... Why'd they bother killing two people? What? Hmm? Because all the rule says is, if you kill someone and get away is that you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on, perhaps. I see. So that's what that means. Is, is everything okay? That's Don't it. talk to me as if we're friends. How was with that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I may even have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talks as if he'd figured something out, but if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? I mean, knowing Ifumi, I mean, knowing, knowing Ifumi, knowing freaking uh, Byakuya, probably. There's only one way in and out of this room with the door that Hina said was locked before. There's definitely a lock in the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any other way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the re repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims there's no way someone could have beaten them to the re repository. So that certain someone... Had to be in the room. Hmm. There's got to be a clue. S there's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe we should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. 
First the nurse's office where Fumi was found. Then the equipment room where Taka was found. All right, we are gonna go to where Taka was found first because it's closer and then we're gonna go down to the nurse's office. And I'm still wondering where Kyoko is. Kyoko? She kind of needs to make an appearance. I mean, I, there's no way in hell it could be her. There's just no possible way it could be. I'm telling you, impossible. So the question then leaves is who did it? <laughs> I suppose that's the obvious question. <laughs> Who did it? Okay, we'll start from this side and work our way over. Just as Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taco. The body was moved, but the murder, murder weapon was just left here. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. The there was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Yeah! But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. I think that's where the, the dolly was. Huh? This tart. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently, too. How do you not recognize it? Sometimes, Makoto. Sometimes. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away! I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event! Yeah, we can always come back if we need to. Alright, let's go down to the nurse's office. See if we can find anything down there. Oh uh, man, I'm super hungry right now. Murder makes me really hungry. <laughs> no, just kidding. I am hungry though. Uh, I need to. Yeah, go downstairs on the floor. There we go. Look who it is, my favorite! That reverb is so loud. Is this a normal trash can? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, but it's also covered in blood! Oh, huh, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in a trash can. Huh? Cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. I did not actually expect anything to be in the trash can. I was just checking it just to make sure <laughs> that nothing was actually in it. What are you investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around seeing if Hiro might be hiding somewhere. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's how see. Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, Correct. Indeed. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Mm. It could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Celeste count. Can't look at the blood, but we can look at the hammer. So that's good. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek? There's a bunch of blood packets in there. In here for blood transfusions, I guess. It doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. 
I forgot that by looking around you can get one of the pink This monitor doesn't really matter right now. I honestly totally forgot that was a thing. The surveillance camera really doesn't matter right now. Okay. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you should go to Hiro's room. Oh, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hiro wrote to get us all to meet up, right? You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? Hmm, things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Um, so he said to go to Hiro's room, but what's waiting for me there? Murder! And that was the end of Makoto, because he decided to trust him. <laughs> be a weird way to, to end this game, I'll be honest. Mondo, Byakuya, Sayaka. Jinko died super early. Celeste, Chiro dead. Oi, dead, Sakura dead. Everybody's actually dead. Leon dead, Hito dead. The door is unlocked! I guess I can go inside? Biakyu did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. This is Hiro's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on in here. Where'd he even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Okay. Alright, so we gotta look around. Give me... One second. Sorry, I got a text from my parents. I had to answer. I have to answer them, guys. There's no point in worrying about it right now. Alright, let's get his bed, I guess. It's a normal bed, pretty much like the one in my room. Boxes. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something, and some things made out of- it looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster? Is this Robo-Justice? And it's in Hino's room! But wait, those blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. It's the penmanship! It doesn't match. Somebody planted that in his room, obviously. The, the penmanship, if it doesn't max. Soundlessly check the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy, though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? That is kind of gross. Okay, so it, it can't be Hiro with the blueprints because that's not his handwriting. Ah. Makoto, big news, big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is, is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news! Just a second. Robo just showed up, too! Robo Justice? Hmm. It's Hiro wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think Hiro and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Oh, there they are. Kyoko and. I mean... Phew, man, I have had the worst day. You know? I am positive that is the suspicious individual that attacked me. <laughs> Apparently, that ridiculous object is Hiro. I'd ask Kyoko for details if I were you. <laughs> Robo just has finally made his appearance, huh? I guess Kyoko's the one that found him. Um, Hiro? Haha, huh? <laughs> yeah, duh, who else would it be? Um, that's a good question. Huh? What? Wait, why do I look like this? Did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? That's a good 
good question. Right. I found Hiro. He was jammed into the pool rock, pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and he woke up. Don't be I mean. still can't believe you kicked me! You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nice. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? Or First of all, Kido, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, I don't even know how that happened, then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Well, um... I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get at it off. A little help? Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make the stupid friggin' thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hiro out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Free at last! Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hiro? More so to the then. point, nobody but Hiro would be able to wear that costume. Uh, Wait, what? Um... Hold on a sec! Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent, the blueprints were in your room as well. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> That's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be... Then it's obvious, the one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone. That's was incredible. Hiro! <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just Good wait. idea, we wouldn't, him kill we wouldn't want him killing anyone else. Oh. Tie me up! H hold on guys, I think that's going a little too far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, a attacking um... blue blueprints. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided, you killed them. Oh, what, killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costumed attacker? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a beat. A bit. Hina, oh my god. Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. 